My name is Jonathan Crabtree and I'm going to, this is a test video to see if I can uh, film correctly how to divide a line segment of any length into any number of uh, equal segments. Um, so I've got an, an A4 piece of paper just here on the ground and I have um, only two um, tools. I've got a pen and I've got this um, <laughs> piece of cardboard, reusable two toasty pockets from Alio. Um, this means that you can actually put uh, two pieces of bread into the toast with cheese in the middle and have toasted cheese being made, cheese sandwiches, in your toaster. So how about that? So um, I'm not going to use any mathematical tools. All I need to demonstrate this um, is a straight edge. So for the purpose of demonstration, this is going to be my straight edge and that's going to be my pen. And as I said, all you need is a piece of paper. So to start off with, I'm going to draw a straight line and there's no markings on here. So it's going to be of an unknown length. So let me draw this. Uh, now it's not going to be a perfect straight line, but the whole point of geometrical diagrams is to prove mathematics. The geometrical diagrams, which are drawn by people, um, whether it's Euclid or anybody else, those geometric diagrams are never going to be 100% accurate because of human error, um, because of um, the impossibility of absolute precision down to point-to-point -point constructions in which a point or a line has no breadth. That's, in, that's, that's all theory. So don't get your knickers in a knot about it being out by a very, very tiny uh, margin uh, of human error. The purpose is to demonstrate the mathematics behind the, um, the model that is being presented by the um, drawings done by people. And obviously, if you use um, ge uh, geometry tools, GeoGebra or anything else, um, you can then draw them to much greater um, levels of Accuracy. Anyway, enough rambling. Anyway, this is a, I can ramble if I want to. This is a test video. Anyway, so um, I'm going to draw a line. There it is. And I don't know how long that line is. Um, but the challenge is to divide that line into, say, uh, well, as was in the LinkedIn question, three equal um, line segments. So it's going to be roughly divided there and say about there. And then we'll have approximately three line segments. But let's, let's use um, the principles known to us for maybe 2,600 years. So what we need to do is um, we're going to make a unit length on our straight edge. So all I'm going to do is just um, put a mark on the cardboard and I don't know how long the mark is on this cardboard from the edge to that mark. But it doesn't matter because that is just simply going to be our unit of measurement for the purpose of um, dividing this line into equal segments. So we don't know how long that is. It might be around about 1.3 or 1.7 centimetres. I don't know. And it doesn't matter. So what we then do is we're going to draw an up line. Um, now, this video may or may not present the right way around, which is why it's a test video, but I'm just going to say that this is up, and this is down. Not uh, very well uh, drawn, but who cares? So I'm just going to draw a, a line from the end going upwards. Um, so. There we go, there's a line going upwards. And what I need to do is to draw a line going downwards from this side here, which is parallel to this line. That's the trick. So to do this trick, all I do is teach children how to do a Z fold. So you just simply fold the paper over like that 
and then all you do is move this up to the other side of the paper making sure it lines up and then what we do is we continue the line on the other end of the um, paper and up so the other end of the line segment just draw it and we've continued along a line and when we open up the Z fold and I call it a Z fold because when you look at the side of the paper it becomes um, a Z so we open up the Z fold and there we have a line going down which is parallel to the line going up as a result of using the modern technology of the Z fold so we've got to divide this, this line along here into um, three equal lengths so I've actually put another line on there by mistake uh, it doesn't matter I can still tell which is my unit segment so then what we do is we simply mark off there's uh, approximately one unit segment and here is approximately two so I'm going to call that U1 and that point there is U2 and that's simply so it matches the um, uh, the post I put on LinkedIn so then we do the same thing on the down line we're going to mark off two points on the down line so there's point one and there's point two and I'll simply label that um, D1 and that point there D2 now to divide this line into three lengths all we then do is draw a line from U1 to D2 this is probably where the most uh, human error will come into it and then we draw another parallel line it's going to be parallel line because we have forced it to be a parallel line and that's going to be approximately right there we go and what we have done we have divided our line perfectly into three equal segments using nothing other than a straight edge from a piece of I found this in the kitchen cupboard a piece of paper a piece of cardboard with a straight edge and a pen and we make up our arbitrary line segment of any length and we create a unit of any length and then we have created three line segments A B and I'll do it on the other side here C of uh, equal lengths now this is uh, this is <laughs> for my own curiosity I just want to see how uh, how accurate this was <laughs> using um, a piece of cardboard from the kitchen cupboard and a pen and nothing else so I have my steel ruler I like my steel rulers so I'm just going to um, have a look at this uh, first length and that looks to be around about uh, 48, 49 millimeters and the second line length is around about just a, around about 49 millimeters and the third length is around about 49 millimeters so there we go um, a simple construction um, using only a straight edge and a pen and a piece of paper and we have demonstrated how to divide a line into any number of integral um, equal segment lengths now if we wanted to divide this um, horizontal line here into um, four 
then what we would have done is we would have done a third unit point on the up line and a third unit point on the down line and then we would have created three parallel lines which would have cut the line across here into four equal segments and so on. So anyway, um, this has been Jonathan Crabtree. I uh, hope that you've enjoyed this uh, little video. Now it's time for me to uh, watch it back and see if it's usable. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.